Mission? Whatever! Welcome! Have you seen anything? I'm conducting an investigation. Apparently, some merchants are being extorted by some members of the Guard. Really? That's... that's terrible, Your Excellency. As Legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information... I... I don't know anything. Really. I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return, do you understand? We are very... monitored. I see. In that case, I will leave you. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. My dear child, what can I do for you? I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? 
I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course seek out the Bishop Domitius. What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand chasing your cousin. I'll see you later, father. Take care, my child. Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The Norts like to be secretive, just like us. Guilds always are. But that does not make them heretics or poisonous. Now, these priests are exaggerating. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, 
they may be able to give us some information. What do you want now? Nothing. from me, my son? Sir de Sardé, emissary of the congregation. Ah. The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive, and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature. Just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings. We suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the Blood Plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Day. I'm looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the noughts are up to. Ah, and what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. 
We cannot question all the Inquisitors roaming around the island. Especially considering what we've learned from Demetrius. They must be doing everything in their power to discover the Nort's secrets. Good day. I'm looking for two men, Norts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Norts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets. But the documents at the Harbour Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. We're approaching the tavern. If we're discreet, we should be able to eavesdrop on a conversation. When are we going to act? Our men are twiddling their thumbs, and that's bad for their morale. Let's not even speak about the guards at the prison. Who likes having clandestine prisoners in their jails? You are impatient. We haven't been able to get out of them what we need to hear, but it won't be long. Then we can act and launch the grand purification of the Noughts. While waiting, keep your men on a leash, especially those in the jails. If the Mother Cardinal learns that you are detaining noughts in a cell in your barracks... We'll be in muddy waters. But then you will too. No need to remind me. They're gone. To hell with those extremists. Why do they have to drag us into this? We must set these noughts free from their jails, Greenblood. Or the situation will escalate and it will be bad for everyone. As for this talk of purification, there's something really suspicious about it, in my opinion. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? Thanks.
This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate it, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way we'll know exactly what the Noughts are hiding from us. Feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. Do not forget that there is only one song that can make us change our minds, Greenblood. Played with golden notes. You said it. Or songs of steel. They also open doors. I'll leave you to your duties, soldier. That's right. Halt! Do not Played with gold. You. Very well. Let's just say I'm going to have to break my way in. <sighs> Why must this sort of thing happen when I'm the one on guard duty? Yeah! To my yeah! help! Locked. 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 Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. And we should probably find out more about this secret first. If we do not discover anything reprehensible, we will have an easier time convincing the Mother Cardinal to intervene.
I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. It looks like a sort of astrolab, but it seems that they are more sophisticated than the ones I know. It's fascinating. Mm, nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine? Does it really predict the weather? I believe that the other instrument there is a barometer. I've heard people speak of them, but have never seen one. These instruments are incredible, and I would be hard-pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here. Nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I've definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> this Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the best of him. Now our priority is to discover what this great purification is. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness.
Yes? I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Norks. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively, considering the accusation is founded on no proof other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminous captured several Norts, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These noughts are now united with their captain, and I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. Following up on the accusations of Bishop Domitius, I wanted to verify for myself what this was all about. I went to take a look at their storerooms and saw what they contained. There were neither idols nor objects of any ritual, nor even anything magical, and absolutely nothing that could be attributed to the origin of the Malachor. I found nothing but measuring instruments and diverse navigational machines. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminous, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and make prisoner of every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Norts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Norts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Norts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence, until we meet again. May the enlightened bless you.
Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminous. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets? They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies. We transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are in fact a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. Did Constantin know? I must... I must go and see him. I am sorry, Greenblood. I promise you that I knew nothing of him. And as far as I'm concerned, this changes nothing. I will keep watching over you. You couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. <laughs> what are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see? I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a perch. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? Black. <sighs> Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me. Constantine, stay with me. Constantine, there is a chance that he is in error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No, no, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I I'm dying! I don't want to die. I don't. Not, not, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't want... Constantine, I'm here. Pull yourself together. Out! Everyone out! It's in order! Thank you, cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. 
You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. <laughs> so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that can't be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the Congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Norts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the noughts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story, believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother came from the island and was brought back. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not your dear cousin? No. All the lies we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told that I'm the spitting image of my dead father lost during an expedition. God, I, I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my dear cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You are my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... Dismissed, soldiers. Leave us. We have much to say. What is going on? I don't appreciate this attitude, Kurt. Must I remind you that these men all answer to me? Times change, your highness. Or rather, they're about to do so. Is that a threat? What are you hoping to accomplish? Don't tell- Silence. We have little time and not to lose. Kurt, what are you talking about? The commander of the Coin Guard is here in New Serene at this very moment. He's preparing a coup d'etat. In the three cities of the island, our men are going to eliminate the governors and their entourage. This is madness. How? How? You'll go down as easy as plum pie and cherry wine. Standing behind every one of you is one of our men. You have entrusted us with your security. You are completely at our mercy. Then why did you send your men away? And why are you telling us all of this? I've known you both for a very long time. Too long. I've come to know you. To respect you. And I've never reneged on a contract. These orders go against all that I am. A cold-hearted mercenary, definitely, but never a traitor. And so now you are forewarned. You must take action. Thank you, Kurt. I will not forget this. Constantine, we need to get you to safety as well as your counselors. But I want to... What? Take part? You can barely stand up. No, we must take you into the cellar. If I've completely understood what you've said, Kurt, the governors of our cities are also in danger. Yes. If you want to keep your allies, Your Highness, you also need to warn them. Correct. We cannot let them fall into the hands of these traitors. I will find the means to send them a messenger. Do you know where to find your conspirators? It would seem I should be one of them. They are counting on me to eliminate both of you. 
The most urgent matter is to get our hands on the commander and his three lieutenants. The others are doing nothing but following orders. If we cut off the heads, they will fall into rank. <sighs> I always knew you were a good man. Don't make me change my mind. We'd better be off. Now. We'll certainly have to fight some traitors at Torsten's behest on our way to the cellar. Stay on your guard. Stay behind us, Constantine. You're in no condition to fight. We must also think about the advisors, including your professor. And then we have to rescue Lady Mirage. We must hurry before the guard can act. Lord de Cossillon, the coin guard tried to assassinate my cousin and is plotting the same actions against the other governors. So, they have finally done it. Such proximity to power is a terrible temptation. It was only a question of time before they succumbed. We should have paid more attention to your lessons. We might have been able to avoid all of this. Follow me. I'm taking you somewhere safe. I'm coming. Minister! The coin guard wants to take control of the island by assassinating all its governors. The guard is everywhere. 
They could succeed. We will do everything in our power to thwart them. Come now. We'll take you somewhere safe. I'll follow you. We've reached the cellar. It looks like a good place to hide. Constantine, promise me that you will stay here until we secure the city. Do I even have a choice? Here I am, consigned to my quarters like some broken old maid. Like someone ill, Constantine. Someone sick who is dear to me, and the city wouldn't survive your loss. You have such a way with words. Very well. I promise to stay here obediently awaiting your return. Let's go then. And cousin, watch out for yourself. You are dear to me as well. You are safe here. <gasps> you have my eternal gratitude, Excellency. You will be safe here. Thank you, my friend. I will never forget what you've done. Lady Morange, make ready to depart. We cannot remain here. But what is going on? The coin guard has decided to take control of the isle. They plan to overthrow the governors. They were set on assassinating Constantine and his entire entourage. The idiots! You are in danger. Do you know a safe place where we could take you? Don't worry about me. I have friends here. They will hide me. Go! And do be careful. 